So what's up? What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another edition of JA News. It's Salute up. to you for tuning in. As always, I'm covering the latest stories here in the world of sneakers. So on today's show, we got some big restocks going down in the world of sneakers, as well as Pharrell's debut men's LV collection. He also has some interesting things to say about Ye. So stay tuned for that, plus more. And it's coming right up. Next. So I need everybody's support. I can't do this without you guys. Make sure y'all smash the like button. You can catch new episodes of JA News weekdays, Mondays through Friday. So if you're new here, be sure to subscribe. Don't miss any updates. Now we're gonna kick today's show off with an update on one of New Balance's most highly anticipated releases. So the man himself, he posted the image on IG with the caption reading 622. So it looks like the second colorway for the Action Bronson New Balance 990 V6 will actually be dropping tomorrow. And if this release goes down anything, like the first drop is gonna be a very difficult cop. Now the pairs are gonna be doing a soft launch tomorrow on Action Bronson's website. The web address is currently unknown at the time of this recording. So retail is 220 and then expect a wider release on New Balance's website on June 30th. And I say wider with quotations because the New Balance website is notoriously known to get bodied. So I feel like your best chance to be able to cop these is gonna be on the soft launch tomorrow. Stay tuned for all of your Twitter sneaker accounts for updates because uh, this one is gonna be a really tough launch. Now for me personally, I'm honestly not a huge fan of these all hype aside. I'm not a big fan of this colorway. I felt like the first joints were much better. So I'll simply be sitting this one out. But if you guys are looking to cop these, I would highly advise you to try to grab them tomorrow as it looks like June 30th release is gonna be very difficult to cop. And I'm expecting New Balance to keep these joints really limited to you know keep the hype and anticipation you know, going for the Action Bronson collabs. And as a quick update, if you happen to miss out on the new Salehi Croc joints, which just recently dropped via his Be A Sponge website, do not worry, as it looks like official images have loaded to the Crocs website, meaning we are gonna have a restock coming very soon. So just a quick update, if you guys missed out on those joints and weren't looking to pay resale prices, be on the lookout for these releasing soon, retail, $80. And then you got the big sneakers app released today. Well, should I say rumored release? I'm not sure where this story came from, but apparently we got our second chance to be able to cop the Jordan 3 white cement reimagined. You also got the UNC 5s as well. Two great options for any Jordan fans. I feel like the white cement 3s have to be my favorite Jordan brand release of the year. Joints are so iconic and so clean and still look great today in 2023. The UNC 5s on the other hand, eh, they're all right. I get the love, you know, for Jordan's alma mater, you know, the UNC blue, blah, blah, blah. We get it, right? So apparently we have a rumored restock going down today. Uh, no time confirmed or anything like this. And at the time of this recording, uh, no updates. So just wanna wish everybody good luck if they do happen to release and hopefully nobody experiences any issues with mold, you know, with pairs sitting around in the warehouses collecting dust, as well as mold can be an issue as we've seen with the recent Easy Day drop. So hopefully nobody deals with any issues like that. And I'm assuming that these are like leftover pairs from the original release. So good luck to everybody trying to cop. And it looks like everybody's favorite obnoxious sneakerhead, DJ Khaled, he was spotted with another early Jordan 1. We're talking about the Royal Reimagine, a pair that besides the fact that everybody's saying that they're growing on them now, these joints right here, the conversation is coming up that this pair is starting to look a little slightly different than some of the early images that were floating around. I don't know if that's a topic for a whole nother conversation, but I find it funny that now that Khaled is rocking these joints, you know, when the images first hit the net, everybody was like, how dare Jordan Brand change these, I'm not feeling them, trash, you know, the typical story. Now, as we're getting closer to the release and we got the On Feet by Khaled, people are starting to warm up to these. Oh, my mind's starting to change. You know the typical story. And then of course, once these joints drop November 4th, 
you already know i gotta have these i gotta have them so be on the lookout for these joints retail 180 has your opinion changed on these at all or do you feel like these joints are trash do you feel like jordan branch to never change the materials on these let me know and lastly we had the debut of pharrell's very first debut lv menswear collection so of course this is a major moment as pharrell is now the successor of virgil who was original team donda at one point this would have been a dream job for Ye, as he has a long you know close connection to the brand and rightfully so so does pharrell which is why i feel like he was definitely deserving of this position pharrell explains that the collection hinges on the idea of lvers meaning that if you appreciate louis vuitton you're a lover of the curation so i didn't actually check out the full show but took a look at some of the looks from the show and while i'm no fashion expert or anything like that i definitely feel like one of the staple pieces from the collection had to be this digitized camo look so you saw it in an array of pieces you saw it in a whole bunch of different colors you also saw some really interesting cool looks from pharrell um you saw some jerseys in there but overall I felt like he kind of picked up, you know, from where Virgil left off. We also saw some, you know, personal touches of Pharrell's included as well with the men's Letterman jacket. We also saw those small little glasses. So overall, I feel like, you know, it was kind of what I expected from the show. But then again, I'm not a big fan of these high-end designer brands being as the, the price point is just really unobtainable for your everyday consumer. So while I'm not personally looking to cop any of these pieces, I feel like it's always cool to, you know, take a look at these shows and see, you know, what the highest you know houses of fashion have to offer and then i feel like one of the most interesting moments of the night after the show swiss beats is recording himself and pharrell in which he attempts to call pharrell the louis vuitton don before pharrell stops him to say that there's only one louis vuitton don kanye west and that he's just a student so while i appreciate his honesty here I almost felt like this moment was forced. Like it almost felt like it was a skit. So I appreciate the honesty, but it's like, bruh, this is your night. Like you're supposed to pop your shit. So it almost felt like they did this in a planned attempt to save himself from the social media backlash, all of the crazy yay fans that were gonna come for his neck. So at one point, while well, one thing, I appreciate all of the honesty from Pharrell, you know, come on, bruh. You could pop your shit just a little bit, but then again, I guess this is why Pharrell is in the position that he's in. So what do you guys think? That's all I got for y'all today. Um, for tomorrow's show, of course, we're gonna get into uh, more about what Ye is doing over there in Tokyo. So I'll catch y'all tomorrow. Salute to everybody for tuning in. Drop all of your feedback. And if you haven't done so yet, be sure to smash the like button. I'll catch y'all tomorrow. Salute, stay safe, stay blessed. Love.